Good morning everyone. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about uh, more types of graphs. Okay. Before that, we are uh, discussing one doubt. That is question number 4 of exercise 14.3. So, in this uh, question, that is exercise 14.3, question number 4 we are discussing. In this question, uh, what actually is given? Uh, actually, the table is, again, as I have told you uh, in previous lecture, that from uh, now onwards, means uh, from uh, any of the question, you can get a table where non-continuous interval is being given. So, here also, uh, intervals are given, but you will observe here that this time, class intervals are non-continuous. So, here it is mentioned length in mm and here number of leaves okay now you will observe that length in mm uh, is having intervals or uh, is having intervals okay but these intervals are non continuous as i have told you earlier if intervals are non continuous given to you then you will change it into continuous class interval and then you will draw the graph. So here also as you will see here that it is given 118 to 126 then what it is given 127 to 135 then what it is given 136 to 144 next is 145 to 153 next is 154 to 162 Next is 163 to 171 and then next is 172 to 180. Okay, so these intervals are given and you will observe here that these intervals are non-continuous. And what frequency is given? It is given that one one uh, length in mm, uh, number of uh, length of leaves in mm uh, lying between 118 to 126 is 3. Then next is... 5, the next is 9, the next is 12, the next is again 5, then 4, then 2. Okay, this is given 3, 5, 9, 12, 5, 4, 2. So, this is given like this. Now, what we will do first, we will make our new frequency distribution table where intervals will be in continuous form. As I have told you that how to form uh, continuous fr form from non-continuous. So, as I have told you earlier that what we will do, we will see our second interval. Okay. So, our second interval, we, in second interval we will see the lower limit of second interval. So, lower limit of second interval minus, formula is lower limit of second interval minus upper limit upper limit of first interval okay and then if we divide our given answer with 2 then we will get a number so you will observe that that number is 127 as lower limit of uh, second interval is second interval is second interval is 127 then we will see that upper limit of first interval is 126 and then we have to divide it with 2. So we are getting it as 1 by 2 that means we are getting it as 0 0.5. I think till here there is no doubt. So this is a number. From uh, This number what we will do? We will take this number. We will add this number to upper limits of the intervals and subtract this number from lower limits of the given intervals and then we will be able to form our new frequency distribution table which will be uh, set to as a continuous class interval uh, uh, frequency distribution table. So I think till here there is no doubt. Now I am making new uh, uh, frequency distribution table in which continuous interval you will observe. So if you will, okay. Please, uh, you can see this question from book. I am making here new frequency distribution table. Okay. 
So you will see that in new frequency distribution table, in new frequency distribution table, what you will observe that we will add our given number, our given number that means our first frequency, uh, our first interval is 118. So we will subtract 0.5 from 118. What we will get? 117.5. So instead of 118, we will write in our new continuous interval frequency distribution table. What we will get? 117.5. First interval will be 117.5 to 126.5. What we are doing is we are subtracting point, uh, 0 0.5 from lower limit and we are adding 0 0.5 to upper limit and then we will get it as 126.5, 126.5. Similarly, in next interval, what we will get? One, uh, our next interval will be, will be formed from 126.5 to 135.5. Similarly, next we will form from 135.5 to 144.5. Next will be formed from 144.5 to 153.5. And next we, uh, will be formed from 153.5 to 162.5. Then next it will be 162.5 to 171.5. The next is 171.5 to 180.5. Uh, here I have just done it so that you will understand that what we have to do. Okay, I have done it for one first interval. Then uh, for next you can do it in your mind also. Now uh, uh, our frequency, in our frequency there will be no change. So what we will do, we will write it as it is. And then I think after forming this, it is easy to form a graph. Okay, now we are studying second type of histogram. Okay, in this, okay, for this, let me draw, let me draw the table. I am drawing here table from example number 7. So if you will see the here that in this table you will be, uh, you will see that first we will find class size as I have not told you how to find class size till yet. So today I will be first telling you how to find class size. Okay. Now here you will see that intervals are 0 to 20. Then frequency or number of students occurring here are 7. Then here 20 to 30. Again number of students are occurring here 10. Then for 30 to 40. Number of students are occurring as 10. Then for 40 to 50. 40 to 50. Then for 50 to 60. Then for 60 to 70. Then for 70 to 100. So here you will get 20, 20, 15 and 8. First we will be finding class size. Okay. Now, how to find class size? Formula of finding class size is upper limit of the given interval minus lower limit of the given interval. Okay. So, this is the formula for finding class size. First, we will be finding here class size. Now, for class size, or you can say width. First, I am telling you how to find how to make new frequency distribution table. Okay, uh, before that, let me tell you only about class size. Okay, you will see here that if we find class size by using this formula, you will be getting 20 minus 0, 20, then in next 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and then in next 30. You will observe 30 minus 20, 10, 40 minus 30, 10, then again similarly here, till here, you will be getting 10. Then 100 minus 70, you will be getting 30. Now, after finding class size or width, what you will be finding? You will be finding, okay, uh, why first of all? As you will observe here that after finding class size, 
you will be observing here that class signs are coming different for different intervals. That means we will write here as class size, class size are coming different for different intervals. Okay, so that's why there is a need of making intervals. There is a need of making new table. Okay. Now in new table, what we will be adding? We will be adding the length. Length of the length of the rectangle we can say. So now whatever graph we are making for that graph this length of the rectangle we will be representing on y axis and this marks these marks we will be uh, representing on x axis first of all how to find the length of rectangle let me write the formula over here and then i will tell you why to need what is the need of finding this length okay so this formula is very much important students please write it carefully and learn it also length of the rectangle is and listen it first of all how uh, why means how to find it okay length of rectangle formula for this is that number of means you can write given frequency given frequency in the table divided by what you will write class size of that particular frequency into what you will be writing uh, minimum minimum class size of the table so this is the minimum class size of the table so this is the formula of finding length of the rectangle now you will uh, by using this formula i will be finding length here so you will observe here that as i have written given frequency and given frequency is 7 then divided by what you will observe okay in bracket you can write here frequency so that you will not be confusing uh, you will not get confused here so uh, given frequency is 7 then class sizes as we have written 20 then minimum class size you can write it here for your convenient that minimum class size of the table of the table is 10 as you will observe here that minimum class size of, uh, is 10 so i have taken here 10 so into 10 you will write here then what will be answer what answer you will be getting you will be getting it as 3.5 similarly for second interval again given in frequency divided by class size that is 10 you are getting 10 then into minimum class size a minimum class size is 10 so answer you will be getting it as 10 similarly for next similarly for next that is given divided by class size into minimum class size you will be getting 20 then for 20 divided by 10 means given divided by class width into minimum that is 20 then for 15 divided by 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 is equals to again what you will be getting 15 then here 8 divided by 30 into 30 and then approximately you will be getting 2.67. Okay, I think till here there is no doubt. Please write it. Uh, if you want to write, you have to write. Write it fast because this is the one of the important question. On basis of this type, I will be uh, giving you the homework. Write it fast. Okay, now... On basis of this, I will be drawing the graph. I am erasing this. I am drawing graph over here only. No need to erase it. You can draw graph after this formula also. Okay. So you will observe here that I am right. I am making graph over here. That means this is y axis given to us. Then this is x axis. And as I have told you, you can write unit. You have to write unit for the graph first of all. Now, as I have told you that here we will be marking our marks. And here we will be marking our length of the rectangle. Okay. 
Now, what is the need for finding this length? Why we can't do directly with the help of frequency only that uh, as we have done earlier? That I will tell you after making this. So, in the graph, as according to the marks, I can mark here 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. Okay. Here again, on y-axis, we can mark according to uh, length of rectangle we have to mark. So, here we will mark, we will take two, two, gap of 2. So, you will be getting that like this we have marked. Okay. Now, please make these graph on graph paper only and make each and every graph with the help of scale. Okay. Now, here... Again, for 0 to 20, that means for this column, uh, we will mark here 3.5, that means here. Then for 20 to 30, that means for this, we will mark here 10. Okay, now for 10 to, uh, 30 to 40, we will again mark for 10. Then for 40 to 50, we will again mark for 20. Okay, then for 50 to 60, we will mark for 20. Then for, uh, uh, then for 60 to 70, we will mark for 15. 15 will be coming here. Then for 70 to 100, we will mark for 2.67. 2.67 means uh, here. Here you will be getting. Okay. So this is the way of uh, making the graph. First of all, we will find the new table in which we will involve our length of the rectangle, class size, because with the help of class size only we will be able to find length of rectangle. Then with the help of marks and length of rectangle, we will be making our graph. Students, please uh, do it side by side. If there is any doubt, then you can take it afterwards. Then after that, what? Uh, why, we, uh, why it is the need of making this okay now what we will observe that actually what is the concept of histogram concept says that if we find area of each rectangle and if we find proportion of, uh, of area of each rectangle with each of their frequency then they should come same but if we in this case where class size are coming different if we find uh, area of uh, each rectangle and uh, for uh, um, without making without uh, finding this length then in that case it was coming different means uh, okay let me tell you how uh, first i am finding area of this rectangle here you will see that uh, what is length given to us that is uh, length is 20 then breadth is or width you can okay width this we have taken so take it as uh, breadth breadth or width then what length is given to us? 3.5. Similarly here, breadth is 10 and uh, that is again 10. Length is again 10. Similarly here 10, 10. Here 10, 20. Here 10, 20. Here uh, this is given as 10. This is given as 15. Here uh, this is given as 30. And this is given as this is given as 30 and this is given as approximately uh, 2.67. Okay. Now what I am doing is I am just finding the area. Please don't write uh, after this graph anything. You have to just understand why I have made this length and why we are doing this. So if we find area from this, what we will get? You will be getting 70. Area of this you will be getting 100. Area of this you will be getting 100. Again here 200. Here 200. No need to write it please. Then 150. Then here you will be getting approximately 80. Okay. Please don't write it. This is just for explain, explanation part. Because how I just want to tell you how, why to make this. Okay. Now you will see here that uh, we have found area. If I will find a proportion of area with this frequency. You will find that in each case 0 0.1 is coming. Okay. Proportion of area with this frequency, that means 7 divided by 70. What is coming? 0 0.1. Then 10 divided by 100. What is coming? 0 0.1. Similarly, if you will check for uh, everyone, every, each and every 
interval then it will come 0.1 only that means this proportion is coming same you can write it here as proportion okay as area uh, length of rectangle area or again okay as area areas are proportional are proportional to the frequencies so this is the need you can see here that area are coming proportional to frequencies that's why we have to make this new length okay this length and then on the basis of that we have to make this graph so this is the concept okay if you will find if you will not find this or then if you try to find area and then you will find area uh, proportion with this frequency then you will see that th those are not coming equal okay let me do uh, here only you will observe here if suppose this length is not given okay on basis of this only you are making one graph if you will make one graph over here let me make one graph over here on basis of old frequency so that you will be getting why we have done this this no need to make again i am again again i am saying that you don't have to make this i am just making it just to explain you that why we uh, it is necessary to make this uh, find this length okay so this is so this okay a uh, new table i am making uh, on the basis of this table is on the basis of on the basis of frequency uh, this graph is on the basis of frequency this is on the basis of length okay this is just for explanation you need to only make this one without these digits again again i am saying you so on the basis of frequency if we make the graph uh, that means if we don't have to see this we will only see this so in uh, case of 0 to 20 you will see that frequency is 7 so we will make it here then for 20 to 10 30 we will make 10 then for 30 to 40 again 10 then for 40 to 50 we will see that 20 is coming then for 50 to 60 again 20 is coming then for 60 to 70 15 is coming 15 means here okay then for uh, 70 to 100 what is coming 8 is coming okay so what you will observe here okay let me find the area first of all so here you will see that width is 20 here to 10 10 10 10 then here it is 30 now here length is 7 length is uh, 10 length is 10 length is 20 then length is 20 the next is 15 and then next is 8 okay if i found area of this so what we will get 140 area of this will be 100 this will be 100 this will be 200 this will be 200 this will be 150 and this will be 240 okay now if you find area of uh, frequency area of this rectangle proportion of area of this rectangle with this frequency what you will get i'm find okay for this i'm finding here as i have told you earlier also i'm writing it here again uh, okay now no need okay i'm writing it here for this i'm writing it here that if we find uh, proportion of area with this frequency for this graph we will use this one okay so what we will get 3.5 divided by Uh, 70 sorry 7 with 70 in both the cases what i uh, what you will do for checking also you, what you will do you will see the frequency of older one only means given frequency only here you are getting 0.1 then for here 10 to 70 you are getting again 0.1 then 
sorry, uh, here, uh, ten, uh, 10 divided by 100, 10 for 10 divided by 100, you will see that we are getting 0 0.1 only in this case and so on. Now if we find, now if we find proportion of, a of these areas with this frequency, you will get 7 divided by 140, that is you are getting, I think, 0 0.5 then again for 10 divided by 100 you are getting 0 0.1 here only you can find the difference that proportion are not same but proportion are same that's why no need to make this graph what you will do you will make uh, this new table that means you will find this new length and then you will make this kind of graph. I think till the here there is no doubt. If there is still any confusion, okay, means if you don't uh, uh, getting that how to find this area, how to find the proportion, then please keep one thing in mind. Wherever you are getting class different class size, jaha par bhi class size different dikhta hai, waha par uh, in that case you have to. What you have to do is you have to find new length and then on basis of that length and marks you will be uh, making the graph. This I want to tell you in the total. Okay. So please uh, don't get confused that why we, ha we are finding area, why we are uh, doing that proportion and all. I am just telling you uh, why it is th this we, uh, we are required with. That's what I am just telling you. Okay, so please don't get confused. I, again, I am saying it is the one of the uh, finest method to find that where we have to find length and where we don't have to find length. That first find class size. If class size are uh, coming same, then it's okay. Uh, make the histogram as you, uh, you were making it previously. If class size are not coming same, then you have to do this whole thing. I think till here there is no doubt. It is clear to everyone. Now frequency polygon. Okay. Uh, next I am telling you frequency polygon graph. Okay. Now next type is frequency polygon graph. Frequency polygon. Okay. Now in this, again, there are two types of uh, means, by two methods you can make frequency polygon graphs. Uh, first of all, in first thing, you have to make histogram and then you, in, with the help of that histogram, you can make uh, frequency polygon. First, uh, I am making here histogram. Okay, I am telling you of any of the graphs. So, any of the histogram graph that ha from how histogram graph because till histogram you can make for every question now from every histogram graph how you will make frequency okay this is the one method i am telling you then next i will be telling you afterwards after this okay now you will see here i am making histogram first of all I am making this histogram randomly. Okay. This is not linked to, this histogram is not linked to any question. So please don't get confused that which question is this. I am making it randomly. Okay. I have made it. Okay. Now whatever, uh, suppose this, these are the marks and these are the number of students. Again you have to check whether uh, the class size is coming same. Yes, class size are same for each interval. So, we will make histogram uh, with our first method only. And if suppose class size are coming different, then you have to make a histogram with second method and then you will proceed with this frequency polygon. Now here again, what you will see is we will take midpoint of each bar. Okay. So, midpoints are here. Okay. Now what we will do with our hands means rough hand or with scale with scale sorry you what you will do you will join these midpoints you will join these midpoints 
Okay. After joining these midpoints, what you will do? Okay. Midpoints of each and every bar has been joined. Now, how to begin and how to end? What you will see that here there is no bar. So, we will take midpoint of this uh, x-axis and then we will join like this. Again here, here you will observe that there is no bar. So, we will take midpoint of this and then we will join like this. So, this is one method to draw frequency polygon. I think this is easiest one. One more thing. If suppose here is a bar. Okay. If suppose here is a bar, that means you will join like this. Okay. Now, there is nothing to begin. So, what we will do, we will produce our this origin line, this word and this we will mark with minus 10 and then we will find midpoint here and then we will join like this. Okay, that means you have to start your frequency polygon with x axis and you have to end it at x axis or x axis. I think till here there is no doubt means in, uh, this is the easiest frequency polygon. Okay, now... I have taken this uh, question, this graph randomly. The, this is of no question. So what you can do is you can make it and write here first method and draw this. Okay. Now in second method. For second method, what we will do is we will find class mark. Okay. Now how to find class mark? Students write this, uh, write, uh, make this. Okay. After this, I am telling you frequency polygon of how uh, after finding class marks. Now for class marks, for class marks, first of all, how to find class marks? Frequency polygon. Okay. Again, I am drawing a table here of one question as it is given in the book. Uh, so here. I am uh, doing uh, question number 9, means example number 9, sorry, example number 9. That is, again, cost is given, cost of in uh, living index is given to you. Then what it is given? Uh, number of weeks are given to you. Okay. And in the uh, next column, we will be finding class mark for each interval. So you will see here that it is starting from 140 to 150, then 150 to 160, then 160 to 170, then 170 to 180, then 180 to 190, then 190 to 200. Okay, so this is given to us. Now, number of weeks are given, that is 5, 10, 20, 9, 6, 2. Now, class mark. How to find class mark? I am writing the formula over here. Actually, previously, we have found class mark in histogram only. Means, bar of histogram only. Actually, that is only the class mark. That means, we can say midpoint of the given interval. That means, formula is, Upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. That means upper limit is 140. Lower limit is, sorry, upper limit is 150. Lower limit is 140 divided by 2. What you are getting is 290 divided by 2. That means you will observe that you are getting 145. Similarly, for others also you can find Means for each interval you can find class mark. So I am writing it directly. That is 155. Next is 165. Next is 175. Then 185. And then 195. So like this we will find class marks first. Okay. And then we will find. We will draw a frequency polygon. Of this and this. Means first in, uh, this class mark. Okay. We will be making graph through this given thing and this uh, class mark. Okay, I'm drawing here. I'm drawing here. Oh, okay, I'm drawing it here. Now, in this case, there is no need to make histogram first. Okay, so in this method, there is no need to make histogram first. We'll be, we will be starting directly with 
frequency table. So you will observe that we are uh, marking, sorry, we will make, uh, sorry, 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 we will make graph of this and this. That means this will be acting frequency as usual. That means it will be coming here only, number of weeks. Okay. And this will be acting now our class mark. Means x axis will be acting as a class mark. Means in place of cost of living, uh, living index, we will be writing here class mark. So class mark you are observing here. They are starting with one uh, one forty five. Actually, they are starting, but we are, we will start it with one thirty five, then one forty five. You can take one prior of this one forty five, then one fifty five, then one sixty five, then one seventy five, one eighty five, then one ninety five, and then two hundred five. Okay. Here you will observe that according to this frequency, we will mark. That is, we are marking here five, uh, or you can mark according to the gap of two, 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 four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. Okay. Now you will observe that uh, this uh, in this class mark is one forty-five. And our uh, frequency is five. So in front of five, we will make a dot on uh, above this forty-five. Similarly, for next, that is one fifty-five is a class mark and ten is acting as a frequency. So one fifty-five and ten. Okay, uh, means here uh, like this we will mark. Then for next twenty, twenty, and one sixty-five. That means here. Then for next one seventy-five. And nine, that means somewhat here. Then uh, uh, six and one eighty five, six and one eighty five. Then two and one ninety five. Okay. So here you will observe that we will straight away make we will straight away make these lines by joining these dots. Okay. Now you will observe that why. I have made this one thirty five uh, first because, as I have told you, we will start our frequency polygon from uh, x axis and end at x axis. So, like this, we will do. I think till here there is no doubt. If there is any type of doubt, then you can take it. Okay, and now you have to complete this exercise, exercise fourteen point three. Now, in uh, question number six. As it is written clearly that you have to make both the graphs, as it is written clearly that you have to make both the graphs, both the tables on the same graph. So please uh, uh, obey this. Okay, if there is any doubt, then you can take it. And now your homework is complete exercise fourteen point three. This is your homework. Thank you.